see something that they don't like, the sentry then tucks their head back, lets out a very loud, almighty, ringing alarm call. Now, it doesn't matter if it's owl, squirrel, groundhog, they have the ability to pick out certain colours. Their long range vision is absolutely incredible. So, they have got lots and lots of those little cones in the eyes that contribute to the depth perception. And owls who have more cones in their eyes than they do rods, whose job was for light absorption boosting, most helpful for nocturnal hunters, it changes the eye colour. That's why owls have different shades to their eyes. There's bright yellow, like on duck, there's bright orange in the middle, and then there's a very dark brown, almost ebony toned eye, like tiger hat in the middle. Now, the yellow eyes tend to be signature of the daytime hunting owls, just like the burrowing owls. Bright orange eyes tend to be signature of a crepuscular hunting owl. They come out specifically at dawn and dusk. And then lastly, your nocturnal owls are the ones who have those very dark toned eyes. And those are the ones who come out in the dead of night. Now, for this wee species, they're very bold and very curious. They want to investigate everything in the world around them. And that has made them very well loved in their habitat. And that has proven to be very, very fortunate for them. Because sadly for this wee species, although they're formally classed, they might injure themselves, and again, that might lead us humans to start barricading or blocking up those burrows to protect our livestock. But by doing that, are we trapping unfortunate burrowing owls inside where they starve to death? We've got the nice tasting mouse. Yes.